Have you ever wondered why negating a number is achieved by flipping all the bits and then adding one? Today I want to explain how that works. Okay, let's immediately just start with a simple example. I have the number 80 consisting of 64 plus 16, which I add to uh, the biggest number in a byte, 255. What happens if we perform that addition? Um, if we look at the end result, we get 79. That's interesting. So 80 plus some number equals 79. That would imply that 255 is the same as minus one. That may seem a bit strange at first, but if you look at a, at a clock, for example, then 23 hours later on a clock is the same as one hour earlier on a clock. So you know from these circular systems, um, that's true. And numbers in a computer normally are also circular. For example, bytes go from zero to 255 and then back to zero again. Okay. Um, can we make it a little more visually clear that 255 is the same as minus one? Yes. We can simply give the most significant bit a different interpretation. Instead of saying this is 128, we can say this is minus 128. And then we get 127 minus 128 is obviously minus one. So this is how signed numbers work in computers. The most, sig most significant bit simply gets a minus sign prepended. Okay, cool. So yeah, in some sense, um, plus 128 or minus 128, that's similar to a clock where 12 hours later is the same as 12 hours earlier. Okay, so now that we understood that 255 and minus one is the same in a byte, um, what do we want to do next? Here we take the number 80 and simply flip all the bits. So the uh, the last four zero bits become one bits, the one becomes a zero and so on. And if we add those two numbers together, then of course we get all ones, which we already know is 255 or minus one. Okay, so obviously this can't be minus 80 <laughs> if the result is minus one. Indeed, it's minus 81 because 80 minus 81 is minus one. Okay, so you can see that here, but of course we don't want the number minus one, we want the number zero in our result because maybe it's obvious, but let me state it explicitly. Minus X is the number that when we add it to X, we get the value zero. Right? So we don't want <laughs> uh, all the bits set here, we want all the bits cleared. Yeah, so how would we make minus 81 one bigger, that's, well, quite simple. We simply remove these four bits, which signify the number 15. So let's get rid of them. And then here we set the bit with a value 16. That's one more. And then we should get zero in our result. Let's see. Yeah, indeed, now we get zero. And if we interpret the most significant bit as minus 128, then we get 80 minus 80 equals zero. Okay, and what happened here mechanically? So here the trailing zero bits, of course, resulted in a zero. Then uh, the first one pair here resulted in a zero with the carry bit. And from now on, we always had the carry bit set plus one bit from either number, which propagated the carry bit. And these sum bits were all zero from now on as well. Okay, so that's why <laughs> to negate a number, you have to flip the bits and then add one. If you have any additional questions, let me know in the comment section below.